fixing your code, but not fixing your code. I'm going to talk about fixing your code right away. So, about me, I'm uh, Sebastian Traver from Cologne. I would say I'm a PHP developer since a long time now, and I would not say I'm a Type 3 developer or a Symfony developer. I'm, I'm a PHP developer in the end. How many of you are PHP developers or would say I'm very confident with PHP? That's good. So I need your help. Um, why do we have to fix the code in the first place? Because every time you write code, tomorrow it will be legacy code, for sure. Because there will be changes every day in the future. Some of you might, might think, yeah, I'm, I'm capable of all, I can do it, I can fix it by myself, I know everything, I'm the best man in the world. And I think, you're wrong. You're not the one you can fix everything by yourself. And it would be great to have a tool which can do it for you. Because you will forget what you have to do. So what is Rector? Rector PHP is a collection of rules for upgrades and refactoring. So it's a library which ships with a lot of rules to refactor your code to a better to a better code, I would say. It's some kind of code quality rules in it, we will see later. But it's also a library um, which you can uh, base up on, okay? You can create your own rules, your own rectors. <laughs> there are a lot of um, built-in rectors. Yeah, I'm going to show the GitHub repository of it. So this is a uh, rector. It's uh, made by Thomas Vutruber from the Czech Republic. But there are now quite more people uh, particip participating at this uh, project. So there are an overview which uh, rectors are already in the library. So you can uh, look them up by yourself, I think. Okay, either you're going to uh, use the built-in rectors, that's fine, there are a lot of uh, good rectors already in, in the library itself, or you're going to write your own rectors. And we will see later that I've already written some rectors for upgrading type of free stuff. So, demo first, and I need your help now to uh, look at the code and try to, not to fix it, but to, to make it a better code. So, yeah, for sure. I'm going to the, yeah, I'm going to the presentation mode. No. What's this? Yeah. It's not working. No. You're right, sorry. So, we have this kind of uh, code, and we want to refactor this code to better code. Can you read it? Or it's nearly impossible to, to read? Huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> No, it's not really, it's not really, yeah, the color scheme. What do I have to do, this one? Not much better, huh? Okay, we try it. Okay, you can you read? No, it's not possible to read. Uh, anyone uh, familiar with the uh, uh, theme uh, of PHP Storm? The default theme. Default yeah, I have no, I have no default theme. And some 
Yeah, l the light custom theme. This one? Okay. So we have these uh, complicated loops in uh, code review. And we have this method is course full. This, these are very short examples, okay? But uh, how would we refactor this code to better quality code? Any opinions? Anyone? This one, for example, if count visitors return true, otherwise return false. Okay, what about what about the uh, the, bool the boolean type? The casting. What's the casting? So casting boolean count visitors. Yeah. Perfect. We will see uh, later how uh, Rector is uh, fixing the code in the end. Okay, we have this method to two complex array verification. We have a for each over the items. Then we're checking if the item matches the name, and then we uh, do an early uh, return statement, otherwise return false. Array contains? Does not exist. In an array? In array. With there's an a third parameter in the array in, in array function. Yeah, okay. What would you do? So you would set it to strict, yeah, to true. Key, so because maybe something is lacking here also. Um, I think since PHP 7, it would be useful to have the return type declarations as well to be more uh, concise about what's the method returning in the end. Yeah, very good, cool. This is uh, maybe a little bit more complicated. Ah, this, I don't know if this is the right fixing, maybe. So we have a hint at least. Uh, okay, we are iterating over the old to new functions, key, value, checking if the current function matches the old function. If this is the case, we return early again, otherwise we return now. So how can we fix this code? Any guesses? Any ideas? The Sorry? The above, this one, the error key exists. Yeah. Maybe. In the end, I don't know. And maybe if you use Rector, I don't care. You see, you have to remember all these things by yourself. So it would be really nice to not remember or guessing better choices to, f to, to uh, yeah, modify the code. So it's really cumbersome to do it by yourself. So I'm going to show you how Rector would be changing this code to a better one. Is this readable? No. <laughs> Fucking light here. Sorry. <laughs> Is it possible to close some... How do you say? Chase? No. Huh? Uh, window blind. Or maybe you can convert to string in. This is better? <laughs> Thank you very much. So we're going to we are going to call rector. Is this one? It's not a far by now. It's uh, Thomas Vertruber didn't build a far for that. 
So um, it's still uh, a to-do. Then uh, we call this uh, process function. And then uh, we're um, pointing to our directory, which we want to uh, uh, fix. And then we have this dash dash config demo rector YAML um, option. And this means we are calling rector with this YAML configuration here. We want to auto import names. And we are going to uh, use the uh, features from version 7.1. So you can define which PHP version you want to uh, have uh, as the outcome. So I'm going to do it with uh, a dry run. It's the, the end option at the end. And we'll see how Rector is going to fix this code. OK. Sorry for that. Oh. Yeah, what's going on here? Class map, code, complicated loops in review. Anyone an idea why it's not working? What's the auto loading? Oh, come on, guys. S class map code stops. Demo. So, here we are. So, if we run Rector, Rector is going to change the code for us in the dry run. So we have this return bool boolean count visitors correctly. We have this in array name items true. And we have the, oh, it's much simpler than using array key exists. We just use auto new functions, current function, then the null Kolesky operator. Otherwise, returning null. So you see, you don't have to remember all these things. You can, you can put it in your CI, for example, and just run Peach Rector afterwards and fixing the code for you. And it's reliable, I can tell you. Because we are using just string replace and prec replace method. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why is this possible? Is everyone familiar with the AST? No. Everyone knows what is the AST? No. no. The AST is the abstract syntax tree, which is available since PHP 7. OK, we have now the possibility. OK, AST is a data structure you can rely on represents some code. It's not specific to PHP. There are also um, abstract syntax trees for JavaScript, for example, uh, or anything else. But the best thing is you can modify it and write it back to PHP code in the end. OK? And this is reliable. It's not, it's nothing to do with string replace, prec replace, nothing. If we are talking about AST and PHP, there are only, I would say, two libraries. There are more, but two libraries which are uh, used. It's a PHP AST. This is a C extension. It's quite fast. It's from Nikita Popov, Popov um, the one and only, I would say, man in the world now who knows PHP by heart. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's, we have only, I would say, two to five people in the world which are capable of understanding, understanding PHP in the, in the core, the, the C code. So imagine, we are relying on, on uh, PHP in a lot of websites, but only five people are able to really um, know the code behind it. Or we have the PHP AST. So this is the same as the PHP AST written in C, but this, is one, this one is written in PHP itself, also written by Nikita Popov. So this one, this library is used by a lot of other libraries itself. For example, Psalm. Who knows Psalm? Cool. Psalm is a static code analyzer, so it's able to scan your code. Yeah, and see errors for you, which you probably have to fix. Sim is not so um, popular as PHP Stan right now. It's getting popular more and more, but PHP Stan was the first one, I would say. Uh, and Rector also relies on PHP Stan. PHP Stan is also a static code analyzer for PHP code. Better reflection, I don't care. And Rector itself is also based on uh, the Nikic PHP parser, but also on the PHP Stan uh, library. Cool, so what I've done, oh, you want to see more examples? I don't know, well, we can, we can, we can do it later and scan over the uh, Rectors which are uh, shipped with the Rector library but we're going to, uh, to concentrate on the Typo 3 upgrade now. So what I've done the last uh, four weeks is scan the change, change logs of version 7, 8, and 9, and pick the most easiest one. Sorry for that. There are some, some things which are very hard to, yeah. You, you have to write your rectors. That's what you have to do then everyone can use this rectors uh, afterwards. But you, by yourself, have to write these rectors up front. So this, this is the hard thing. So there is the time uh, going. So wha what I've done is scan the uh, change logs 7, 8, and 9, pick the simplest ones. Um, you can do it also for extensions. Then create. Then you have to, to create your, your rectors, then run your rectors, run your tests, if you don't have any, skip it, and check if uh, the rector which you have written has, has uh, successfully uh, changed or modified your code. Maybe you can also use the extension scanner instead of uh, reviewing the change logs. The extension scanner is uh, shipped by the core since version 9, I think. But you can also use the uh, standalone version from uh, Mikil for, seven, uh, for the version 7, 8, yeah. and 9. So then, if you, sc if you scan it, you can see some strong matches. And for these strong matches, you can maybe write your own rectors, which are then fixing the code right away and then you can share the rectors with the world. Okay, it's demo time. Again. So we are going to start with this one. Okay, who knows what's maybe, yeah, it's a deprecation, it's not a um, breaking change. But what's wrong or what can we improve um, in this code? Any ideas? 
What's wrong with it? So I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> remove the empty ifs, good one. I'm not talking about the code quality. I'm talking about maybe breaking changes in the future or breaking changes right now for your upgrade from version eight to, to nine. Yeah, but <laughs> you're right. <laughs> remove the blank if statements. <laughs> yeah. Not, not already, I th it, it is gone already, I don't know. No, it's not gone. But for version 10, I think it's gone. For version 9, it's not gone. Helmut, do you know if it's, if it's gone for version 9 already? These uh, constants here? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Uh, So you, you, you see, but you see, you don't. You have to. You have to know it by heart. Yeah, if it's gone or it's not gone. <laughs> so it would be really nice to have a rector for that, and fixing this code in a lot of uh, files for you. So I think you know what it, what's coming. But uh, yeah, I've created. We will see a rector later. Okay, um, but. this one. So I'm going to call rector again with the process method. Ah, come on. I sort of have all these uh, things in the in the YAML files. Sorry for this bad preparation now. I thought there are somewhere. No. Okay. So environment and then running config. Nine five. Also in the dry run. So we will see all these constants are now gone or replaced by this new environment uh, class, which all these uh, static methods inside. So okay, uh, maybe another one, and then I will show you some uh, uh, rectors. This one is, of course, a breaking change. What's wrong with this, uh, with this code? At least if you switch from version 8 to version 9. What? Yeah. That's it. That's gone. All these uh, specialized <laughs> calls for some content objects are gone. You have to use C object, C -object single. I won't show uh, the demonstration because it's simple, but you can see it's reliable because I know that the general utility make instance or the object manager is going to return an object of type content object renderer. So I'm not going to scan something like records. Maybe you have a method also it's called which is called mes uh, records. So I'm, I'm not going to change this method in your class for sure. And this is possible because of PHP Stan, and it's now possible um, to register your own PHP Stan Neon configuration for the uh, Rector um, library. So here you can see you have these, uh, yeah, 
instantiators in, uh, in Typo 3 with the make instance uh, or with the object, object manager of uh, XBase. And you're going to tell yeah, PHP Stan or Rector um, what you're going to return. So it's really reliable. So I'm going to show you some rectors right now. Maybe for the content object renderer. So in user land, if you're going to write your own or your custom rectors, you want probably extend from the abstract rector, which is already very helpful with some, some methods in it you can use for your own rectors. So it's that's what I've done all the time. I'm extending from the abstract rector and in the abstract rector, um, there are a lot of injections for some uh, utility helper functions or uh, classes and functions uh, which you can use. So, if you extend from the abstract rector, you have to implement uh, three methods, get no types. So this is the abstract syntax tree thing, which I've mentioned before. There you are going to tell Rector on what kind of nodes, because the abstract syntax tree is going to build a huge uh, graph or tree, tree, not graph, a tree of your nodes, and you're going to tell Rector what kind of, what type of nodes you're listening for. In this case, we are listening for um, a method call, no method calls. Then, this is a simple one, uh, to see what is the rector really doing. We have a definition, so you have to implement this get definition uh, method, and then you are telling something about what you are going to do. It's just for documentation purposes in the end. Really simple. The really uh, important part is the refactor method. And you see you're, you're getting the node which you are listening for in this refactor method. Then I'm going to uh, check if the method call is from a content object renderer class or object, sorry. Um, and if it's so, I'm going to refactor this just from all these um, single methods to just use the C object get single, giving the right uh, arguments and yeah. That's it, and go for it, right. And if I don't uh, call it with the uh, dry run, we can do it, maybe. Ah, uh, sorry. It's gone. I think it's already in the in version uh, eight already. So now you should see. Yeah, that's the that's the fix for it. So. Shall we do another one? 
maybe this one. I have an in-array view helper, extending from the abstract view helper. I don't know. I don't care. Just by heart, what's, what's wrong with this uh, for at least version 9 again? What's wrong with this? Yeah? Uh, we used to initialize the argument. Instead of passing all the arguments or parameters for the render method correctly. Perfect. This is, this is, I think, if you have a lot of view helpers, and I have a, l a lot of view helpers, and I've done it this way, and it's gone, I've, it's, it's, it's very tedious to fix it all by, by hand. So Rector can do it for you now, because I've written a Rector for it. This is 9.5. And it's... I'm just specifying that that we're gonna uh, gonna uh, fix uh, the code for the view, uh, view helpers uh, directory, and I do it right away. Not not a dry one. I will do it, and it's and it's done. You have uh, now a new method in your code, the initialize arguments, and you have these register argument calls for the parameters of the ren of the render method, which were used before and all the parameters are gone from the render method. Still, the code is super ugly. That's not the point. Okay? This is... I know you... There are a lot of other things you can improve. But the view helper, at least, is usable for version 9. Before, it was not usable for version 9. So, yeah... yeah. It's done. No more work. No more guessing, remembering, I don't know what. So, and if you, yeah, you can, you can write a lot of rectors for a lot of PHP stuff. You have still plenty of time. I will do another one, okay? It's okay for you? Yeah. I don't want to bore you, but maybe. So when will you release it? <laughs> it's already released. It's a, it's a proof of concept. Yeah, all, all the, <laughs> you are part of it. I'm just inspiring the people to share. Did you really build some the budget application for next year to write all? No, <laughs> not yet. Okay, this is not a breaking change. No, was until 28. What's wrong with this? Are wrong, it's not wrong by now, but it will be gone. Ignore validation, validate, and there are a lot of more annotations, for example, for the models, lazy. transient, lazy, correctly. And they are all um, transferred to doctrine annotations. Yeah, and there's a rector for it right now. It's also... Okay. This is the annotation directory. Here you are. It's done. It's no more work by hand. It's done programmatically. Yeah, cool. I think it's cool. We have more time for other things because I don't care if Okay, sorry for that, but at the moment I don't care if it's the doctrine annotation or it's the X base annotation. Yeah, it's better from the developer perspective, but for me, maybe as an extension uh, developer, I don't care. It's, it's tedious to do it for me. But if, if Rector can do it for me and I save a lot of time, that's great, I think. Yeah. Yes, I think so. We have to go to the controller, I think. Yeah. Could you also this one. Order? Maybe I guess most people 
I don't know. I don't know. Should be possible. But, but I don't know. As you have the whole tree, you could check, okay, where's the last property, and maybe you have done or get the construction and some afterwards. So that's why I was thinking. Would be great, but at least it's working code. Yeah. That's, that's my point. Of course, it's not beautiful uh, f um, from the from formatting perspective, but it's a working code. There is not a problem, but you have to um, keep it in mind that Rector is not fixing your code styles. So it would be, uh, you should use something else for that PHP TS fixer uh, afterwards, maybe, no? or yeah, something it's else. It's as well. I mean, yeah, I don't know if you, if you if you need it because we are using uh, PHP. Uh, 7.2, and I think it's it's just uh, yeah. duplicated uh, information. Yeah. You don't need a, a doc block because you have this uh, type declaration here. But you can do it. Yeah. There's a doc block manipulator uh, utility in Rector where you can just add new doc blocks uh, very easily. Another one? Maybe? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, we are extending from the absent rector. Then I'm injecting. That's that's cool because uh, rector is using the Symfony uh, dependency injection container, so you can just uh, inject another services which you need in this uh, in your rector. Again, we are listening to the no type. Yeah. Maybe I can't remember by myself what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at okay. Shall we do it uh, step by step, really? You can read by you You can read by yourself and then uh, maybe you have some questions and I'm going to answer them. Uh, It's not much code in the end. Mm -hmm. oh, so the parent has is already um, implementing the abstract class? Right? Yeah, so correctly. Good question. This, so you could basically just provide some example code, run the diff, and check whether it's producing the expected yeah. output. But I guess they already have some set up for everything. I will show you. So the the way I'm doing it is just have this picture uh, file. It's it's yeah it's it's a testing um, concept of Rector to just have these ink, php.ink files, and then you have um, at the top the old code, and at the bottom um, separated by dash, 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 something, uh, and then you have the new code uh, at the bottom. So it's quite easy to add further classes if you yeah. mess up in one project, just copy the sample. This is a testing code for it. Nothing more. Yeah. Any other questions for f code wise? Okay, maybe afterwards. My current problems, because there are problems, there are always problems. Globals everywhere. It's not easy to train the PHP parser to know what's behind your globals. You can do it by some kind of 
yeah, string searching mechanism, but it's not, you, you, you don't have a node type for your globals, okay? This is a problem. It would be nice to refactor all your code. It's, it's, it, it is uh, better to use some method call for getting, for example, TypeScript front end controller or the database connection, the old one. And if that's the case, if you have some method returning to get, to get these uh, globals, then Rector is capable of knowing what's behind it. You know? But if you're using the globals, um, it's not possible. At least uh, that's, that's my problem. I'm, I've talked to Thomas Wutruber, and he also ha hasn't any idea how to fix this. And, of course, if you have some new methods, for example, impl implemented in uh, interfaces which you are relying on, you get fatal errors because auto-loading is done beforehand and the code cannot run. Okay, two problems. Not that much. <laughs> Any further questions? How do we proceed? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, so yeah there's one. I will show the, the links uh, at the end. But one, one thing, of course, we are just fixing PHP code here. We are not talking about TypeScript. We are not talking about Fluid templates. And this is also tedious to fix from um, one major upgrade to another one. Yeah, one, uh, how do we uh, share all our rectors now? You have to write one, and you can maybe uh, make a merge request for this repository, which is Zabelas yeah. Ichon, Typo 3 minus Rector. It's still a proof of concept. I've never, uh, I just used this uh, view helper thing I've showed before for my code, but not the other ones. But would, I would say it's reliable. You can, you can do it. Yeah, that's not possible. Yeah, yeah, that's it. By now, I have uh, YAML files for version eight, eight six, eight seven. I try to also use the the minor versions um, for nine five. Yeah, it's not possible to say. It, it would be easy because it's super easy to, uh, to um, build your own YAML uh, configuration files where you import all these necessary other um, YAML files. I will show you some thing in the Rector uh, library itself. So it would make one just version 9, which includes yeah. 9.0, If you want to upgrade from 7 to 9, you can just uh, make a configuration file where you import 8, 8.5, 8.6, and so on. So for example here, for the code quality, uh, I don't know, it's not a good example. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where, uh, where he's importing all the other uh, YAML files, but it's, it's easy because it's a YAML functionality. You can import just other YAML files uh, by yourself, and then you make some kind of stack for your, uh, for your needs, and then run the configuration. Any further questions? Any other questions? So are you using the, the predefined rector checks already in your no. configuration? No, no. So I'm not using some kind of code quality checks or yeah. code quality improvement. Uh, Yeah, 
And then, for example, if you use uh, PHP 7.2 and run, for example, also the rector return type declarations uh, thing, it will also add your. But this this is maybe a little bit risky. Because the PHP dog might already be wrong. This one or the return thing is not, or your code, your the, the client code is not uh, very strict by calling these things. So this can be. Uh, a little bit risky. So it's better to, to just use this extension to first update your code for PHP 7.2 or some other PHP environment. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it by one, by in, in one in one command. Why not? And then run your tests. Yeah, that's true. That's that's a point because you have to to take care of the uh, ordering. That's very important. Yeah. Because you're, of course, you are changing the code. So the f the first rector, if it if the first rector changes something, which another rector changes also, or want to change also, or is relying on, or something else, then then you have a problem maybe. So you have to take uh, care of the ordering of the rector uh, configuration. In the end, we can I can show you the uh, configuration for, for example, version <coughs> nine five. The YAML file. There you are telling Rector which kind of rectors you want to call, and that's a stack. So this one is the first rector. Yeah. This one is the first rector, then comes this rector, and so on and so forth. So the ordering is important. Keep keep this in mind. This one? Yeah. Here I'm. <laughs> no, I think the method call has changed from dump file contents to just stream file. Ah. That's it. And I'm using here a built in uh, rector called rename method call rectors. And then you can specify from which class you want to rename which methods. Super easy, super convenient to use. That's, uh, that's yeah, super useful. You can just say what what, mes uh, what method from which class you want to you want to change to, if it's such an easy upgrade uh, path. Most of the time, you have maybe to change also the parameters. So now you don't make a list of all the deprecations you made records for, and then you can check off. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we can just discuss this, uh, discuss it afterwards. Yeah. How we're gonna proceed? I have no idea. It's just a proof of concept, and it's astonishing how simple it is uh, to write rectors, which normally, yeah, you, you change your code by hand. It's so so tedious yeah. uh, for for also for a simple task. You have to do it by hand. Of course, you can do some kind of string replace in your IDE. I don't know. Yeah, but you don't. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, thank you. I'm I'm done. <laughs>